going to useless flaming car! Um, what? Sell me a lemon. You're heading for the chokey, young lady. Chokey? Teach you a lesson. What lesson? Do your father think you can make a fool out of me? My father? The guy with a stupid haircut. I'm nothing like my father. You're the spitting image. The apple never rots far from the tree. <laughs> Lunchbook teaches our class three lavender. Please get a water pitcher. But Miss Honey! No, Peter, she'll be here any second. Come on. Oh, make sure the water's cold, lavender. Hurry. Vinny, cover the fish. Put away the art project. Put away anything colorful. Oh, Charlie, won't you get those crayons for me? Most great ideas come from hard work and careful planning. Of course, once in a while, they just jump out at you. Raina, Raina, cover the birds and the beetles. Hurry, hurry. I hear her coming. Okay, now, last time, some of you forgot yourselves. Don't speak unless you're spoken to. Don't laugh, don't smile, don't even breathe loudly. Don't breathe at all. Morning, Miss Trunchbull. Morning, Miss Trunchbull. Morning, Miss Trunchbull. never been able to understand why small children are so disgusting. They're the bane of my life. They're like insects. They should be got rid of as early as possible. My idea of a perfect school is one in which there are no children at all. <laughs> Do you agree, Miss Honey? Now, you, front of the class. Are you OK? Next time I tell you to empty your pockets, you'll do it faster, won't you? Excuse me, Mr. Trunchbull. Miss Honey, this could be the most interesting thing you've ever done. Sit down, you squirming worm of vomit. Thank you, Miss Trunchbull. Get up! Can you spell? Miss Honey taught us how to spell a long word yesterday. We can spell difficulty. You couldn't spell difficulty if your life depended on it. She taught us with a poem. A poem? How sweet. What poem would that be? Mrs. D, Mrs. I, Mrs. F, F, I, Mrs. C, Mrs. U, Mrs. L, T, Y. Why are all these women married? Mrs. D, Mrs. I, you're supposed to be teaching spelling, not poetry. I cannot for the life of me understand why small children take so long to grow up. I think they do it deliberately, just to annoy me. <laughs> What's funny? Hmm? Come on, spit it out. Speak up. I like a joke as well as the next fat person. <laughs> it's a snake. It's a snake. Ah, it's a snake. Ah. One of you tried to poison me. Who? Oh. Matilda. I knew it. I just thought you'd like to know it smells snake. It's a newt. What did you say? It's a newt, Miss Trunchbull. Stand up, you villainous sack of goat slime. You did this. No, Miss Trunchbull. Did you act alone? Or did you have accomplices? I didn't do it. You didn't like the chokey, eh, did you? Thought you'd pay me back, didn't you? Well, I'll pay you back, young lady. For what, Miss Trunchbull? For this newt, you pissworm! I'm telling you, I didn't do it. 
Besides, even if you didn't do it, I'm gonna punish you because I'm big and you're small and I'm right and you're wrong and there's nothing you can do about it. You're a liar and a scoundrel and your father's a liar and a cheat. You're the most corrupt lowlifes in the history of civilization. Am I wrong? I'm never wrong. In this classroom, in this school, I am God! When you go to your little cubbies to get your smelly little coats, when you skip merrily to lunch, I'll be watching you, all of you, and especially you. Mess, and then I'll come and help you fill the bird feeder, okay? I'll be out there in a minute. 